I'm here with Jar Harris ahead of his fight at Cage Warriors 170 in the RDS. Jar, thanks for joining me. Uh, the first thing I just want to bring up with you is that the last time you fought at the RDS, I don't think I've seen as many people all in one place wearing the same fighters' shirts <laughs> as I saw people wearing Jar Harris shirts. What was that first fight in the RDS like for you? Um, really was unbelievable because do you know what that was like my first fight in Dublin so uh, it was huge for me I think I was meant to fight in Dublin for my amateur debut and uh, it ended up not going ahead the um, kid missed weight or he came in it was mentally he was like 68 kilos or something we were meant to fight at 57 he was 50, 68 that night and he ha hadn't done a video way in so when we went out, my coach had said to him, he goes, here, you better jump on the scales. And he was 68 kilos. And we were like, oh, no, no, I hope like you wouldn't be up in kilo before uh, the night of that fight. So anyway, that fight didn't go ahead. And I ended up, I think, fighting up north. So I think that was the only opportunity that someone ever took against me in uh, Dublin. So for it to come full circle and come all the way back around, like it, into my pro career was really cool. Um, cause me, uh, my last three fights before that had been Austria, Austria and America. So, um, fighting on the other side of the world, really, you know, and then getting to have one back home is on probably the biggest show in Europe. Just, yeah, just brilliant. Yeah. What was it like for you as you were walking out to the cage and then after the win, seeing? Just so many people in the crowd because there was only, I think, 1,500 people there. And I could have sworn there was 3,000 people there for Joe Harris that night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the way it does be. Um, the support is unbelievable. But you know what? Um, I think you're so switched on before the fight. I'm not even really thinking of anything like that. Obviously, I, re like, I love that people come out to support me and stuff, but like I just love fighting. I'd fight in a bathroom stall. I don't give a bollocks. Um, I really do just love to fight. Um, if there was nobody there, I'd fight. If there was millions of people there, I'd fight. Um, I think it is just an added bonus after the fight when you turn around or you jump up on top of the cage and everybody's screaming for you. Um, it, it does add to it. It makes that. It makes the win. Just, it makes it not the the win feel not just like it's yours, it's everybody else's as well, because they're looking and they're cheering for you and they're supporting you. So, yeah, I think that's the best bit about it. You, you, you're bouncing up on top of the cage or after the fight, you're going out and getting photos with all these people and stuff like that. I think that really adds to it. But in terms of before the fight, I don't, I don't really think about it too much because at the end of the day, I only have one thing on my mind and that's getting in and letting loose. I, I actually I wasn't aware that, that that was your first fight in Dublin. Now that I think of it, it, it would be. But are are you happy now to be fighting in Dublin again? Are you okay with being booked on these on these Dublin shows, maybe either in the RDS or the Tree Arena, or do you want yeah, to get well, out and kind of come here, we'll explore fight, Europe? A little? I'll fight anywhere in the world, but I don't. You don't get to do it at home that often, especially for me. Um, I haven't got to do it before. So getting a couple of fights in Dublin, it's I, I think it's brilliant. I, I love fighting here. Obviously, we um, have a great crowd. Um, and just it saves all the hassle of like, like when you're fighting abroad, hotels and figuring out and bringing food scales with you, not knowing what food you're going to be able to eat, getting down to supermarkets, trying to find your way around where just really comfortable at home you know like i know exactly where the sauna is or you can go in i can like the last time we didn't check the scales but like this time that'll be something we'll be switched on to you can go test the scales and little things like that um uh, just to match it up with your own scales really and stuff like that but i mean it's just so relaxed um you know where if you want to go up and do a little bit of training beforehand that there's no hassle it's i have the keys off the gym myself so i just ring one of the lads or i've organized with the, the guys and the lads who coach me already so yeah just really relaxed i, I really really enjoy fighting in ireland because of that um but at the same time if someone offered me a fight anywhere else 
I, I'd probably take, you know what I mean? It's a fight's a fight to me. Like I said, if the, if there's people there or if there isn't people there, it doesn't bother me. If it's on someone else's hometown, I don't care. I'm going, I'm going out there to take her off, yeah. It was pretty big news, I think, for people in Irish MMA and for Cage Warriors in general when it was announced that you'd signed uh, officially a multi-fight deal with Cage Warriors. What was it about the Cage Warriors deal that you were given or Cage Warriors as a promotion that made you want to sign with them? Um, like I'd been offered uh, multi-fight deals with other promotions. Obviously, I had a couple of fights on um, Cage Fight Series. Um, they were really good to deal with and enjoyed the show. Um, that I think it's the French show. Is it Aries or uh, I can't? I don't know. How, yeah. I don't think I'm pronouncing it right. But they offered it to me. Um, and then obviously there's other promotions out there. But I just think Cage Warriors is the biggest stage, and the route is UFC for me. That's where I want to go. Like as you're saying, I, I know I have that star power, and I I know people really enjoy me fighting style. I'm going out there and I'm trying to finish the fight from start to finish. And if it doesn't reach a finish, you know you're at the watching a really entertaining fight. Know what I mean? Um, like like that. Anybody who talks to me about me fights, they're like, "Ah, oh, your fight was the best fight of the night," and I'm like, "I know," because I'm going out there and trying to hold people, you know. Um. But I think just Cage Warriors in general, it's it's like dealing with them, the best show we've dealt with. And it's it's just, you know they can get you the fights, is which is something we actually really struggle with. We always find that people don't take the fight against me, you know. And people, you'll always say, I'll fight him. Or, and then when they get the name on the contract or they get the name of the, the manager, they might think they can beat me, but then there's always someone in the background saying, why would you take that fight, you know? Um, but like that, Cage Warriors have like a really dense uh, div division, so there's definitely going to be someone who's going to take that fight, you know? Your opponent who who did uh, take the fight, uh, Gregory uh, Vanachan, I, I actually have no idea how to say that name, um, but I'm just going to go with that. Um, he's 2-1, uh, two submission wins. What do you make of him so far? Do you, do you pay attention to him as an opponent, or are you just working on on your own skills? Um, you sh like you have to like. Okay, I feel like like yeah, you do pay attention to things. Like obviously, um, you get the name in the door. Um, do you want this fight? I, I've, I don't think I've ever said no to a fight unless it really, really didn't make sense. You know, um. Well, got the name in the door. Obviously, I let me coaches and stuff have a look at him first. If they give the go ahead, I'm happy to fight. Um, because at the end of the day, this is a career. Know what I mean? Um, and it's a business. It's like styles make fights as well. There's like sometimes you get offered a fight, or and it could be someone who's just gonna go out and try to hold you against the cage, make a bar, and like. The thing is, with a submission, like a submission grappler, they want to come out and take you down. I don't want to be took down. I want to put my knuckles through the back of your head. So, um, I think Styles make fights, and I think this Style makes the fight. He wants to put me on my back, and I want to keep her on the feet and blow his bleeding head off his shoulders. But at the end of the day, I think that's everybody's job when they're going to fight me. But if you look at my record and you look at me finishes. Most people get submitted by me anyway because they get one clatter and say, holy fuck, this fella hits like a bleeding featherweight or a lightweight and they want to put it on the floor. And I've been a flyweight my whole life as in I've always been small. So like my jiu-jitsu level I'm off my back, I am very confident in. I, am, I don't think anybody's going to cause me trouble. Um, so like that, when we got the name in the door and saying that he's a he's a seasoned grappler, um, like he has medals and stuff on the European scene, that's in jiu-jitsu. It's not MMA. So obviously it comes with it comes with different um, obstacles, but also it comes with different openings and opportunities as well. Like there's gonna be plenty of places I'm gonna exploit him out there. If it does go to the floor, like I'm gonna butcher this fella with elbows from top if I have to. If my mom bottom, he's gonna be getting elbowed in the nut, and then I'll snatch his arm or his neck if it pops up, you know. I was I was just gonna ask, 
where exactly do you see your advantages in this fight? I'm no, I'm, I'm sure obviously if you took the fight, you reckon you could beat him. But where exactly do you see this fight playing out in your favour? I, I think I'm going to finish him. I can see me finishing him on the feet early. I think I'm going to put the shots on him. He'll start to panic. He won't like getting hit by me. And he'll want the quickest way out of there. What is what is the uh, what is the official Jar Harris prediction? I reckon I'm gonna spark him out with a right hand or a right head kick. Uh, and finally, this is a pretty stacked card in terms of uh, Irish MMA. Every time the Cage Warriors has been coming back, they've been bringing the best Irish talent. Aside from your own fight, which fight are you most excited about to watch as a fan on the night? Um, obviously. Like, I think it has to be James Sheehan's fight. Um, he's fighting for the title. Really, really good teammate of mine. Um, same with the other lads who are on the card as well. But I think it'd be just a huge thing um, just to see my teammate bring back that gold belt to the uh, gym and also light a fire under everybody's belly. He's like, as in terms of myself, we want that Cage Warriors belt as well. So looking at him with one will be like, Fuck that cunt, I'm going to get one as well, know what I mean? More than just a competition way, do you get me? Like, um, obviously, James is like the team captain of right now. He's sort of like, he's the senior lad, he, he's loads of fights experience, He's uh, and he has that like team captain attitude about him, know what I mean? He gets the boys going, so... Uh, yeah, it'd be no- nice to see James go out and take that title. I think that that would be the most one. And also, uh, Saul, like I really love watching Saul fight. So clean, everything's just precise for for me. I don't watch a lot of fights, and um, like I watched the Cage Warriors fight last night. Um, like I'm starting to watch Cage Warriors a lot more because obviously I'm like stalking the division, seeing, um seeing people and obviously the flyweight division see how they're getting on seeing how t- fights are turning out and stuff um but like that i think um if i sit down to watch a fight it's because it's either someone said oh this is a really good fight give this a watch i think sometimes fights have lots of anticipation and then you watch them and they're not great you know um so i find like someone with the skill level of Saul and so slick and the way he puts things together really like he has finishes on the feet and finishes on the floor I think he's really good to watch as well Fantastic Uh, 